Hello and welcome to my channel study with Pradipto. Here in this video I will discuss all the programming assignment from 1 to 5 of programming in Java course. Now in this programming assignment 1 we have to write a program which will print a pattern of star uh, that means if the input n equal to 3 then the output will be this pattern ok. That means first in the first row it will print 3 star, in the second row it will print 2 star, in the third row it will print 1 star. Again a increasing order will follow like uh, it will print 2 star then 3 star. Okay. Now here suppose if n equal to 4, okay, that means it will print 7 row. That means first 4 star, then 3 star, then 2 star, then 1 star, then again 2 star, 3 star, 4 star. Okay. In this way we have to write the program. Now uh, this is the program. Now first of all, uh, why? I write this program like this like if you see uh, here if i not equals to n then system dot print uh, out dot print ln okay why we write this because uh, if you see that uh, the expected output here you can see in every row there is slash n but in the last row there is no new line okay so that's why I have to write this if i not equals to n system dot out dot print ln now here I have write two for loops uh, like uh, the first for loop is for the increasing uh, sorry for the decreasing star pattern and the second for loop is the for the increasing star pattern now suppose here n equal to 3 now uh, this loop runs from 3 to 1 that means first it will print 3 uh, star here you can see 1 2 i i means 3 then it will print 3 star now in the next line okay next line then it will print 2 star because here i minus minus that means for first uh, time i value is 3 and for the second time i value will becomes 2 and for the third time i value becomes 1 ok now uh, when i uh, equal to 1 then it will come out from this loop then it will go in this loop ok now in this loop i value starts from 2 that means first of all it will print uh, 2 star ok like this 2 star now uh, in the second um, iteration it will print 3 star because i equal to n here n value is 3 now when i value uh, not equals to 3 or n here uh, then it will give a new line but when the i value is equal to n it will not give a new line so that is the program I have to click save as trap then I have to click compile and run then we will show that uh, compilation passed one by one passed and the expected output matches with the actual output and the status is passed then we have to click submit then after clicking submit we will see that private test cases used for evaluation is passed here I have to write programming assignment 2 ok of programming in java course. Now here we have to complete the code segment to display the factors of a number n. That means if the number here a test case is given if the number is 18 then what are the factors of 18 1 2 3 6 9 18 ok these are the factors. Now how to write this program. Here uh, we write one for loop ok. Now the loop will start from 1 and it will uh, go till i less than equal to number that means here. Uh, 18 is there so that means it will print 1 2 3 6 9 18 so these are the factors so now modulo i equal to equal to 0 then it will print the value of i that means it will print 1 then it will print 2 okay in this way it will print uh, but it will it will print 3 but it will not print 4 because uh, 18 uh, modulo 4 not equals to 0 okay now uh, every time uh, it will give one space that means this space we have to give ok so that's why I write this system dot out dot print a space we can say that we can write this thing if we write this thing and then we uh, click compile and run then see what happens here it will show passed after ignoring presentation error now why presentation error because in the output there is one extra space ok but uh, here in this expected output there is no extra space after the last number Okay, last factors. So that's why I have to write if i not equals to num, then system dot out dot print space. That means for the last one, that means i equal to num for i equal to 18, it will not give a extra space. So then if we click compile and run, it will show that the status is passed. Then have, I have to click submit. Then after clicking submit, we will see that private test cases for evaluation is passed. Now coming to programming assignment 3 of week 3 of the programming in Java course. Now in this assignment we have to complete the code segment to count the number of digits in an integer using while loop. Okay. Now remember to match the output given exactly including the spaces and new line. Now uh, there are two test cases one is 153 one is 000, 000 3452 so the output is 3 and 4 so the number of digits. Now here the 30 is before this number so that's why it is 4. 
but if this 30 is after 3452 then it will print 7 okay so now we have to write the java program so first we have to write uh, one count variable which will count number of digits okay now we have to take a while loop where num not equals to 0 then we have to say count plus plus that means when the loop rotates then the count value will increase itself then we have to write num equal to num by 10 okay that means first if the in value is 153 then it will be 1 5 then after 3 then after 0 then next we have to write system dot out dot print then we have to write this count value okay then we have to click save as draft then we have to click compile and run then here you will see that public test cases 2 by 2 passed okay then we have to click submit then here you can see that private test cases used for evaluation is passed so now coming to the next assignment now coming to programming assignment 4 of week 3 now in this assignment a student class with private methods uh, sorry private fields name and age is provided now your task is to make the following a parameterized constructor now we have to uh, parameter uh, initialize the private fields of a parameterized constructor and the getter setter methods for each fields okay now follow the naming convention as given in the main method of the suffix code now this is the input john 20 the output will be name equal to john age equal to 20 that means two input will be given now the output will be name equal to this and age equal to this okay now we have to write the program so first click this java now here you can see that private string name and private int age that means two variable private variable is taken now here the main method is given her uh, string name equal to scanner dot next and int age equal to scan uh, next dot uh, scanner dot next int so that means uh, these two variable is taken from the user now uh, student student equal to new student name age so that is the constructor okay student name age that is the parameterized constructor we have to write now system dot out dot print then student dot get name and student dot get age is given now we have to write here we have to write the constructor that is public student string name and int age then this dot name equal to name and this, this dot age equal to age next here you can see that uh, name equal to student dot get name so this is one method and student dot get age so this is another method so we have to define these two methods so public string get name return name and public int get age return age so the name and age will be returned okay so then we have to click submit uh, sorry save as draft then we have to click compile and run then here you will find that uh, public test cases 2 by 2 passed okay then you have to click submit now here you can see that private test cases used for evaluation test case 1 and test case 2 both are passed okay so now coming to the last assignment that is programming assignment 5 so in this uh, assignment there are two classes class 1 cls1 and cls2 which is subclass of cls1 that means cls2 is a subclass of cls1 now cls1 having a method add which add two numbers and uh, we have to create two methods inside cls2 which will take two parameters as input that is a and b and print the sum multiplication and sum of their squares like a square plus b square okay uh, so uh, if you see that 2 and 4 then the output will be 2 plus 4 6 then 2 plus 4 8 uh, sorry 2 into 4 8 and 2 uh, into 2 that means 2 square plus 4 square so 2 square means 4 4 square means 16 2, uh, so 4 plus 16 equal to 20 so in this way we have to write the program so now click java now here now if you write this class 2 extends class 1 that means uh, this is the class 2 is subclass of class 1 now this add method will be by default available in this in this class okay and we extra added the multiplication method that is uh, the int a and int b the uh, parameters and system dot out dot print and a into b and here void task void task because here you can see that obj dot add ab obj dot mul ab and obj dot task ab okay and where class 2 obj that means it is a class 2 object new class 2 okay so now here in the task a square plus b square we write now we have to click save as draft then we have to click compile and run now you can see that expected output is this but the, your output is uh, this uh, so in the last 20 that means in the last row there is a extra new line okay so we have to remove this new line so how we can remove we have to just write print okay then again we have to click save as draft and compile and run okay. now you can see that the expected output matches with the actual output so the status is fast then we have to click submit 
then you can see that the private test cases used for evaluation is passed so thank you for watching the video if you get some help from this video then please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon thank you see you in the next video